statistics and excel wages data box plot or box and whiskers got data let's get stuck into it with statistics and excel you're not required to, but if you have access to this online OneNote, we're in the icon left-hand side, the OneNote and Excel presentations, 1020 wage box plot tab. We will also try to upload our transcripts so that if you choose to, you could go to the view tab up top, use the immersive reader tool. You can change the language here if you so choose and either read or listen to it in multiple languages. OneNote desktop version here, looking at our information, our data on the left-hand side, which we are imagining to be salary income information, possibly related to employees of a corporation or a business, or possibly related to faculty at a school, if you want to imagine it that way. So note that usually when we first get the data, it's not gonna be organized in a fashion that's gonna be very useful to us. So for example, if we did a random sample, if we asked people what their salary is, if they were willing to give us what the actual salary was, then we might order the information by the people that we randomly asked what their salary was, or we might get the information if we have access to these salaries by alphabetical order. We might have a list of our employees in alphabetical order and the salaries related to them. Clearly, when we just look at the data set in that way, we might be able to extract some information from it, but it becomes quite difficult to do so because there's no ordering of the data. It's gonna be difficult to get meaning from that data. And clearly, if you're in a situation with salaries, the common situation would be that you're trying to argue that you should have more salary, you should have a larger income level. So you might look up data if you had access to the actual salary level in your particular organization, or you might look up salary related to uh, people in your profession and say, hey, look, this is the comparative salary, this is what I'm making, and so on and so forth. But clearly, if you were to present something in this order, it wouldn't be that useful, right? If you had a list of people's salaries and, and you presented in a meeting and tried to argue that you should get a raise because of this list of salaries, then this wouldn't be the most efficient way to present that list if it was in alphabetical order or something like that. What you would want to do typically is organize this and the first way to organize often will be from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. So in Excel, we will do this by basically making a table. We have a nice sort field so we can do this sorting very easily. At one time, it was not so easy. It's great that we can easily sort this information now. So now we've got it from highest to lowest, which is probably what we're gonna be looking for. We're gonna be saying, hey, look, this person's making 84,000, I'm not, you know, whatever, and so on and so forth. And we can get a decent idea of the range by simply looking at it in order. Now, that's clear when you look at this kind of data, but if you were looking for a huge set of data that has a lot more information in it, then this would still be fairly difficult to look at and extract a lot of meaning from it. So the next thing to do is usually to make some kind of pictorial representation of the data. So the pictorial representations, very important. They're not simply just a, a crutch type of tool to explain stuff to the layman. We wanna have the pictorial type of data. Now, the, the box and whiskers or box plot is a fairly uh, easy kind of thing to put together. And I think one of the attractiveness of the box plot versus what we'll take a look at later, which will be a histogram, another way to sort the data, possibly one that you'll see more commonly because it gives you a, another sense or a different sense of the spread of the data. But I think the box plot was kind of easier to draw. If you had to draw something by hand, <laughs> you know, it might be a little easier to draw the box and whiskers than the histogram. But now, of course, we have Excel, so we, we can fairly easily draw whatever we want to draw. So we can make the box and whiskers if we so choose, and we can make the uh, histograms fairly easily if we so choose, and we can make bar charts, which we will practice in Excel. So if we were to plot this data, we could, we could see uh, what we have here. We've got the wages, and we have to 
come up with what we want to be the intervals of the wages. So it starts at 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. And then we've got our information on the, the box and whiskers for the pictorial representation. So we actually put the data in here as well, which you can do in Excel. So now let's kind of analyze each of these points of the box plot. That's gonna be our next uh, kind of component. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller here. So here's our same box plot on the right. And let's look at the meaning of some of these numbers in the box plot. So usually we want, and we have the average or mean. That's one of the first types of calculations that we will typically do. So if I think about the average, how would we calculate the average of this set of numbers? Now, if you had to do this old school with a calculator, it would be quite tedious, but the concept it's fairly straightforward. We're gonna add up all of these numbers, boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna divide it by the total number of numbers uh, that we have. We'll count the numbers and divide by the total. So if I, if I was to do that, uh, the manual calculation, I can add up all uh, of the numbers and then divide it out. So I can think about that with two functions, the sum function which would add up all the numbers and then divide represented by the slash here. And then this count function actually simply counts uh, the numbers. So if you're interested in that in Excel, we'll get to it. You can take a look at a problem in Excel. And then if I wanted to use an, uh, just a function, the function is the average function. So in Excel, I can just use the average function and then select this entire column of numbers. It'll give me the average Remembering the average is the mean. Same thing, two words, same uh, concept. So that's gonna be uh, how we can calculate the average. That's represented over here with the X. Now note that the X is not exactly the same thing as the line. The, the X uh, is, the, is the average. The line represents the median, uh, the middle point of the number. So let's look at the next one. The minimum uh, not included, not including outliers. So the minimum number not including the outliers.